In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make this Iron Man's Arc Reactor. Using only some cardboard and a few tools. Let's dive into it. Hey, I'm Raphael. I work in the movie industry as a professional steady camera operator. But I also have an unusual skill. I make awesome props from movies like this with just a few pieces of cardboard and some easy tools. I explain to you how to do this. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an impressive arc reactor with almost nothing. But hey, at any point during this tutorial, don't forget to check out the notes and links in the description below. I list all the tools that I've used as well as some additional resources and of course templates for all parts that I've built. Now, let's jump into the video. Using a precision knife, cut all the pieces from the template which are linked in the description below. Next, with a pencil, we port them all on your pieces of cardboard. Next, cut all the pieces that way. And I cut a few more like those ones. Next, glue those ones together. And hide the corrugation using a thin piece of cardboard. Do the same for the inside. Next, I covered all of it with white paper, that way. Question of the day, who is your favorite Marvel characters? Write down and see the comment section below. I glued those ones together as well. And I did the same for these three pieces. Next, using the same technique that I used before, I covered them with white paper. Afterwards, I glued the little one right in the middle of the big one. Here. I cut four thin pieces like those ones, and I glued them together. And if a cat walks in front of the camera while you are recording, cool it and wait a few seconds. Next, from this piece, cut several pieces like this one. Afterward, with this template which is in the description below, define the position of the wire coils. To do it, put this piece right in the middle, then using a pencil, report all the lines on your piece. Then define a 1cm space around each mark. Next, I glued those pieces that I made before right on these marks. To end up with something like this. Using a pencil, I darkened them slightly. Next, I cut and glued small pieces of cardboard inside each of them that way. Afterward, using grey cardboard paper, I made the wires. To do them, I started by cutting thin strips like this. I shaped them with my fingers like this. Then I hardened them using wood glue.
and I glued all of them on it using hot glue. All the templates that you need are in the description below, but keep in mind that even with the templates, you'll probably have to fit your own pieces to your own construction a little bit, because at this point, your build will be inevitably slightly different than mine. I cut several more pieces like those ones. On this one, using a precision knife, I made several notches, like this. end up with a piece like this. Pay attention to the three empty space here, here and here. Next, I darken the piece with a pencil. I cut three little pieces like this. And I folded them that way. Afterward, I glued them on the wing. Then, using thin strips of cardboard paper, I covered this piece to give it a great turn. And then, I glued it in the middle of this piece. Remove what exceeds, if needed. Then I glued the whole thing in the middle of the arc, that way. Next, I made the rest of the wires, on the top. I folded this one that way and I glued it to make a ring. Then using the same techniques that I used before, I covered it with white paper and I glued it in the middle of this piece. I cut this piece in several smaller pieces to make the fan and I covered them with white paper as well. I kept a thin round piece like this, I darkened it with a pencil, then with a sharp tool I made several holes on it. Afterward I glued this little ring on it. Next I cut four pieces like this, keep in mind that the hole that I draw on it points to the top, and I covered them with white paper. Next, I glued all of them on these pieces, that way. Afterwards, you can glue the two outer wings. Glue this piece in the middle here. If you've watched my other videos, you know that usually I don't paint my props because cardboard doesn't react very well to the painting. But this time, I decided to give it a try with some colored varnish. For the white part, I used a mix of blue and white in order to give it a kind of electric look. I made another wall like this, slightly thicker than the ones that I used to make the wires in order to make the bolts. Next, I painted the wires. Don't forget that you can find all the products and tools that I used in the description of this video. Next, I painted the rest of the arc reactor. After that, I also added a layer of glossy varnish. With a pencil, I made marks to define the middle of each color of wire. I cut several more pieces like this. 
Then I glued those pieces on the marks. Then I glued both of them together. I cut a ring like this. I glued it on the top, here. Next, I cut several more pieces like this one. Glue some of them on the arc reactor. Then glue this piece here. And glue the rest of the other ones. I'd like to take a few seconds to thank Bernadette and Sabine Godard for supporting my channel on Patreon. That means a world for me. And if you want to support me as well, don't hesitate to check out my brand new Patreon page in the description below. By becoming a Patreon, you'll have access to behind the scenes, pictures, giveaways, and way more. Or like Bernadette and Sabine Godard, you'll have your name in the credit of my videos. Now, let's get back into the tutorial. Make three thick rollers like those ones. Cut four little parts from them and glue all of them on this piece. With this piece of cardboard, I made another ring. I glued it here. And I glued the other one on the other side to end up with something like this. I also added a little one here. With the rest of the three wires that I made before, I made the big wires for the back of the arc reactor. To make the pedestal, I started by cutting two pieces like this. I glued them together. I hid the corrugation with a thin piece of cardboard. Then I covered it with a grey cardboard paper. I made another ring like this. I closed the corrugation on the outside, but not on the inside. Afterwards, with a pencil, I wrote the sentence. Then, when you are sure about the design of this, you can reinforce the color with a black pen. To end up with something like this. Next, using wood glue, I glued the little one in the middle of the big one. Pay attention to have most of the thickness in the front of it. I cut a few more pieces like this. I glued these ones together. With this piece, I made a big wall. Big enough to welcome the back of the arc reactor. I covered it with grey cardboard paper as well. And I glued it in the middle of this one. I cut another piece like this, I crushed it a little bit. Then, using wood glue, I made a thick wall with it. I cut one of the tip in an angle, like this. I covered it with grey cardboard paper and I glued it on the back of the big ring. Next, I glued the two pieces together that way. Then, afterwards, I applied two layers of glossy varnish. cool isn't it and if you feel like you need to see more about a specific step sign up for free to my email list in the description below and you receive a timeless video start to finish of the entire construction now check out this video right here in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how to make an impressive infinity gauntlet out of cardboard that you can actually wear and move the fingers and of course don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time